Being a Bassmaster Elite Series Pro is not all sunshine and rainbows. Every tournament brings a new set of challenges. Your next paycheck is never guaranteed. Day in and day out, the world's most talented and intimidating anglers stand in your way. You have to find a way to be great every single day. Providing for your family means survival in this sport. Finding your way into the cut on every lake in America. This is Life on the Cut Line. All right, it's day two of practice in St. Clair. Yesterday, we had great weather, could move around a lot, and uh, this is the earliest I've ever been here. It's July, the, you know, normally we're here August. I've been here once in September, so I think the fish are a little bit behind what I'm used to. We normally catch them out there on those big expansions of flats. This whole lake is just a, basically a big giant bowl of flat. And, it, they just roam around a lot, but the depth range that they're in is going to be different this year, I feel like. I caught a lot more fish in that 12, 16 foot range. I did catch some out there in 18 and 19, where I have in the past, but I feel like we need to expand more. I tried to do that deep thing for most of the day yesterday, and I kept coming back up shallower and getting more bites. So I think we're going to spend a lot more time in that more productive depth zone and, and see if we can just find the the perch and the bait, that's the whole key. When these fish get done spawning, they, they want to move out, but they're just gonna move as far out as the bait is. And, and as much as there is for them to eat in here, as long as there's forage up close, they're not gonna need to go out. The water's not, you know, but 74 degrees. So it's not so hot that they have to be out there deep, but they're starting to make that move and we just gotta intercept them somewhere. So that's what we'll be looking for today.
kitchen like this all day. Yeah. 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 have a master's degree <laughs> the way electronics are and as good as they are they see baits so consistent now the, some of them swim up there and look at you look at your bait and swim off that used to never be the case. That's yeah, four something, four and a half. Yeah, probably.
where you stop, man? You want Popeyes, Tristan? No, man. So then we're just gonna stop at Popeyes. Did you do anything this afternoon? I ain't done nothing all day. Yeah, I went over there, around, whatever, that a lot of bullshit thing is. Oh, look how small one is. Yeah. I, I fished over there for a little bit, caught a few small ones, and then I ran east. And the further east I went, the nastier the water looked. It got like a dark green. Really? Yeah, it got like a dark green color. And uh, huh. so then I run across like straight north from there, and there's some dots over there. And uh, about as soon as you get to about the middle of the lake, it turns back pretty blue again. And then I got over there, I caught a couple decent ones. But, I mean, I only caught, I only saw like four bass. I fished over there for maybe an hour. Yeah. And then I, I run back and uh, fished some more of that big giant flat that we hadn't fished, or that I hadn't fished. I caught a couple. I was trying to catch a four pounder Give me a little bit of confidence over there. I never, never caught one. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna be honest with him.
go that way a little bit. And You need help carrying anything? So you just alternate between over and under the rest of the way? No. Uh -uh. Gosh dang, Tristan, turn that air conditioning on. Just <laughs> one under. So you do an over, but one, it won't, but one it, under. But it won't hurt to do an under. Well, so the way uh, that half inches work, whenever you do it, it, it spirals yeah. down. Yeah. So like if you do big line half That's inches, so like offshore stuff, it's beautiful. That's where we met, and I just caught that one nice one up there. Where that American flag is. I kind of caught another nice one out here. Yep. All right, day one here at uh, St. Clair. Um, you know, this place is, is really awesome. It's uh, kind of random, but uh, we're going to need over 20 pounds each day, really. Um, probably take 20, 22 plus a day to, to win this thing. So that's what we're shooting for is uh, over 20 pounds each day and we'll let the chips fall where they may we're gonna do a lot of live scoping and a lot of looking um you know covering a lot of ground hopefully we can find one little wad of them and, and get right in a hurry but uh that's the plan we're about 101 so we got a long day get to fish till 4 30 so hopefully we can make it happen all right here we are day one st Clair. um the wind has calmed down the weather's calmed down a little bit we should have a nice day fishing um, that's what we need. We're going to have to look for them all day on that active target. We're going to have to find five big ones and a uh, calm day makes that a whole lot easier. So we're going to go out there. We're going to keep that trolling motor in the water. We're not going to run around a bunch and uh, we're going to make the most of our day and see if we can come in with five big ones.
Bassmaster Classic qualifier finish. Right behind him, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. He is Elite Series Champion of Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Georgia, Drew Cook. a little bit better one. Yes. <laughs>
more locked. Right, you take I the just tension off and the hook just, just falls right I, out. Right? I just don't give up. <laughs> Two-time Elite Series champion took a second win earlier this year from Panama City, Florida, Drew Benton. Five fish here today for Drew Benton. Looks like a good day here today. Five fish. 18 pounds, five ounces. He moves into 35th place currently. Got the family up here with him. Come on, come on over here. Let's make a really cute Christmas card. No, you don't have to touch it. Just, I know they're slimy, they smell. Oh. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. One of them likes fish, and the other one uh, doesn't want to have anything to do with them by the looks of things. Those smallmouth are mean. He, he doesn't like those mean fish. He don't even really want to pet them. 18.5, so a decent day today, but man, standing back here, it had to be a little demoralizing. I mean, there's 18.5, I don't care where you are. You're like, okay, I've done pretty good, but 20-pound bag after 20-pound bag is, would you wish you didn't have to hear all that? 
No, I kind of knew it was going to be that way. I just never got a big bite today. I never really even caught one over four pounds. So to have what I had today uh, was just kind of par for the course on this lake. And we just got to do a little bit better tomorrow and get ourselves back in it. All right. Well, we'll see you back here tomorrow. See you later, guys. See ya. <laughs> Let's bring in a former bass Nick. Stangler, a Bass Master Elite Series champion, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from Georgia, Drew Cook. Drew Cook with five fish here today. The 93rd limit of fish weighed in here today. Nineteen pounds, fifteen ounces. Nineteen fifteen, and he's frustrated because he's one ounce shy of twenty. And that would have been our 32nd 20 pound bag weighed in today. Nineteen fifteen. Put you in 32nd place, so not so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad, but man, I've, this is one of those places where you're mad when you have 1915. You know, today it was fun. Uh, but we were joking back there. It's kind of like the weights are like Sabine, except way better and way more fun. You know, everything's tight. So, um, you know, we, we had an opportunity to have a little bit better bag, you know, 22 pounds. But uh, we're going to go do it again tomorrow. Hopefully, you know, get those bites in the boat and ha have a better, better day and move up and get to the weekend and then try to get to the top 10 and just go hop dog around, see what we can do. Sounds like a plan. Go make it happen. Our next angler, a five-time Bassmaster. All right, just wrapped up day number one uh, here at St. Clair. Had 19.15, so one out and short of 20 pounds. Um, that has me in like 35th place so they caught them this place is unreal but um you know had two other bites that would have helped that i lost um so we get those in the boat tomorrow and that gives us you know 21 change and uh you know move up so that's what we're going to shoot for tomorrow we're going to shoot for 25 tomorrow because that's what we need to get back in this thing um but make sure we catch us 20 again you know just live scoping around new uh Sensation, Somali, and Slim Minnow. Been catching them up this week. So we're going to grind tomorrow. The weather is supposed to be a little iffy. So uh, hopefully we can stumble upon one little wad of five pounders. All right, here we are, day two, St. Clair. Um, caught 18.5, and that doesn't have us where we want to be. You know, it's an incredible fishery. You go and go and go, and you, you pitch the ones you see on active target, and if they're a four pounder, you're in good shape. If they're a three and a half pounder, like they were yesterday, you're somewhere in the middle of the pack. So we got to run into five of those four to five pounders today, get us back in this tournament. Um, we're going to change some depth zones up and, and look a little bit shallower and mix it up a little bit more today. We're going to have 
a little bit better weather this morning to do that and uh, hope for the best. All right, day two here at St. Clair. Um, you know, yesterday we had 19, uh, 15, almost 20 pounds, and we we're in 35th place or 34th, something like that. So we got to catch 20 plus uh, again today to, to make the cut, but we really need to catch that 24 pound bag to, to get back in the hunt and this thing. And we're around the right ones, just got to get them in the boat and uh, cover a bunch of ground and cross your fingers, really, that you're throwing to a four and a half pounder, not a three and a half pounder. But uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do a lot a lot more just put the troll motor down and go uh, today than we did yesterday. Looks like the weather is gonna be nice until about 11 o'clock, and then there's potential for severe winds and severe storms. So hopefully we can get on quick and, and go ahead and get him get them caught before all that comes in. So that's the plan: 25 pounds or bust. Opportunities, Lord. God, we ask today that you would. Who's brought Day number two. We're going to thank the Detroit Sports Commission, Macomb County, and Chesterfield Township, our host community here this week. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. Whoa, let's officially get this party started. Had a big day yesterday. We're going to back it up again today. His second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Alex Redwine. Right behind him, an Elite Series champion and a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. Rolling down the AFCO Rap Skeeter Yamaha, Drew Cook. Louisiana, Caleb Summerall. The very first Canadian ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event, Chris Johnston.
Yesterday's weigh-in, or who watched yesterday's weigh-in? Lake St. Clair showed out in... Good news. Look forward to seeing you. Lake Champlain, another elite series champion and another former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from Georgia, Drew Cook. At 19 pounds, 15 ounces yesterday. Was not happy that he was one ounce short of 20. I think he's done that today, though. Five fish here today. 21 pounds, five ounces. He moves into third place with 41 pounds and four ounces. Forty-one pounds and four ounces. Gonna weigh that one for Phoenix Boats. A big bass, six-one for the tournament. We're gonna take it over for the day. Five pounds, fourteen ounces. So new Phoenix Boats big bass of the day today, and. Uh, you're gonna be getting back out there again tomorrow, and man, it looks like a lot of fun. It, it is a lot of fun, you know, catching a bunch of fish. Uh, they are getting smarter by the day, though. A lot of them didn't bite today. They've probably seen a bunch of baits already, but um, you know, had two big bites today and, and caught one of them and lost another one. But uh, we're around some big ones. If we can just get five of them tomorrow, then you know, make things interesting, make top ten. But uh, I'm just happy to be fishing on Saturday. Love having you here on the weekend. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. A two-time FLW. Two-time Elite Series champion took his win, second win earlier this year from Panama City, Florida. Get loud for Drew Benton. 18 pounds, five ounces yesterday. Today, he's got five fish. Looks like a better day today. Twenty-two pounds, three ounces. He moves into 10th place with 40 pounds and eight ounces. All right, time to make a picture.
40 pounds, eight ounces uh, inside the cut. Should be fishing tomorrow, obviously, and uh, another beautiful picture. Yeah, it worked out a little bit better this time. I think he got a little bit over his fear of these big northern smallmouth and how mean they are. But it's just a blessing to have them here. I have to thank my wife and mother-in-law for bringing all the family up here. It makes being on the road a whole lot easier when they're here to support me. And uh, it's a heck of a fishery. I can't wait to go out there again tomorrow. Looking forward to watching it go down. See you later, boys. See you tomorrow. Our next angler, a two-time elite. Hey, Ten for. What y'all doing for dinner? Made it day three. Um, got a little bit different conditions to start the day, but they're gonna bite again. I'm pretty sure we just gotta get out there and uh, find five big ones. You know, I caught a bunch of fish yesterday. Only five of them were big, so hopefully we can, you know, change some of those three-pound bites and four-pound bites and really make a move today. We need to uh, catch 20 plus to do that. And we're on the right place to do it. Sweet. All right, uh, day three here at St. Clair. Um, you know, we moved up to 31st, had a, had a good day yesterday, had 21 something, uh, but had a great big one. You know, we had an almost six pounder and, and lost another six pounder. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try to you know, get those big bites in the boat today because we're gonna need 25 pounds to, to make it in the top 10. So we're gonna run out there to the lake and, and get after it and hopefully we can put all the big bites in the boat and you know catch that 25 pound and, and make top 10. 30 seconds until we officially kick off our second flight here on semi-final Saturday. Let's try them out five seconds away. Three, two, one. Leading them out, an 11 time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, an elite series champion from Brookville, Indiana, Dollar Bill Owen. Right behind him, an Elite Series Champion and Bassmaster Classic Qualifier from Arkansas, Stetson Blaylock. Let's go, let's go. Made a big charge in our leaderboard yesterday, looking to keep on charging the very first Canadian ever to win the Bassmaster Elite Series event from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Chris Johnston. Right behind him, a three-time Bassmaster Classic Qualifier from Newcomerstown, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. Former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year, rolling out in the Asco Rap Skeeter Yamaha Elite Series Champion, Drew Cook.
four-pound frame, but it's going to be Is that four or five? That's number five. That's five right there. It has to do some culling, bud. Mm-hmm. What you got now? I got a four, three, and three twos. Are you still catching them on the dong? Huh? Good at catching. Of course, now I got a little one. Where? Lose a four. Huh?
Hmm? So did I scare you? Fishing I've had on Lake St. Clair my whole life, so I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal right now. It's another good one. A two-time Elite Series champion, a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from Panama City Beach, Florida, Drew Benton. 40 pounds and eight ounces at the start of the day today. He's got a five fish limit. Twenty pounds and five ounces moves him into 25th place with 60 pounds and 13 ounces. 60 pounds and 13 ounces, and he's sitting in 25th place at the Avco Bassmaster Elite at Lake St. Clair. Sixty pounds, thirteen ounces, and uh, you know, pretty crazy how a 20-pound average will put you in 25th place here. Yeah, I'll take it. You know, after the first day, I kind of dug myself a hole and the, put two 20-pound bags on the scale to, to make up some points and make up some ground was really huge. And it's just a lot of fun out there. You know, we're just floating around looking at them on an active target, and I'm throwing a big bite, some molly to them. And, and uh, half of them bite, half of them don't. They, they've got a, a college education out here on Ford Face and Sonar, I think, over the years. So it's a whole lot easier last time we came, but uh, it's a lot of fun, and I can't wait to come back. We'll be back, and I can't wait to see you at Lake Champlain. Safe travels. I need you to get really, really loud. He's a two-time angler of the year, a former Bassmaster Cutsel. He's a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. He's an Elite Series champion from Georgia, Drew Cook. 41 pounds and four ounces to start the day today. Five fish to add to that here today. He's 23-3 to get inside the cut. Five fish here today on semifinal Saturday. Avco Bassmaster Elite, 19 pounds and 9 ounces. He moves into 27th place with 60 pounds and 13 ounces. A 20-pound average and an incredible finish once again here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. All of these anglers making the top 50 is something to be commended for. 60 pounds, 13 ounces, and uh, 27th place. So a great week this week again. Yeah, it, it's fun. Uh, you know, I lost a lot of fish today, and I couldn't even tell you why. Um, lost them on everything. But it was still a fun week. You know, I caught most of my fish. Uh, Sonar Pros, Live Scope, that was, I mean, everybody, you know, doing the video game thing, looking down, uh, panning around, just pitching a drop shot with the new big bite Somali on it and a quarantine crawl and that's how I was catching all of them you know a lot of these fish were eating shad in the mornings and then crawfish and perch you know as the sun came up but uh this is an amazing fishery it's a very tough place to fish a tournament but I would love to come fun fishing here well I'm sure we'll be here for a few tournaments you can fun fish on Monday if you want to stick around he's a four time All right, wrapping up St. Clair, day three. Wound up in 30th, uh, climbed each day a little bit. And uh, hey, that's all you can ask for. We spent all week looking for them on active target. Those fish were in the 12 to 18 foot range. And today, that was very, very difficult. We had high winds all day. It was hard to keep that trolling motor in the water. And it was hard to you know get zeroed in and actually get a bait to them today. So. Um, I had 20 pounds today and I'm thankful for that and uh, thankful for the points and on to the next one.